Hey everybody, I just wanted to give a quick update on where we stand right now with the faculty promotions. I met with those that were going up for faculty on Monday, October 3rd for training number one. During this training, we went over the overall promotion binder. I walked them through it step by step, tab by tab. I also went over the Vita with them and their transcripts, performance agreements, performance effectiveness, and letters of recommendation. For their transcripts and performance effectiveness agreements, the PPEs and transcripts, what I have done is I had them all email me individually saying they needed them from either HR or from the um, Academic Affairs Office. And then I just sent one email to Human Resources with everybody's name and one email to Nicole Stout with everybody's name for the transcripts as well, just so that it would make Amy's and Nicole's lives more easy or easier. I know that Amy has gotten out the PPEs and that Nicole is still working on the transcripts. She said she would have them done though before Thanksgiving break comes for us so that they will have all of them. I also know that many of the faculty have started sending out their letters of recommendation requests because I've gotten several of them to start writing. Anyway, we're getting ready to come up to our October 24th training. It will be on Monday, October 24th. I sent out the invitation. Again, if you're not able to make it because you're teaching or you have other meetings, it's really okay. Uh, this is just time for me to spend with them to go through the individual sections. But if you can be there, that would be awesome. I know that Jaina and Colleen were able to come last time and they were both able to give some valuable insight and I really appreciated that. Anyway, we have here coming up for training two is working on the philosophy, also spending time on how to do instruction as well as doing the guidance and advising component of their binders. So those are our next three topics. Everybody does know they're coming in hand with the expectation of actually completing a philosophy before they finish and walk out the door. Before I wrap up this quick overview, I do have a quick question for you. I wanted to get your feedback from you. I have used the templates that uh, Carol had put together in the past for helping out in uh, the tab sections and like here's an example of one where it's just um, example is just internal service with that brief narrative at the top of what it is you know for the internal service philosophy and then activities and dates and then for by the years with the activities listed underneath each of them okay and then that would be the page and then right behind it would be all the documentation I wanted to share with you a possible alternative template though. Take a look at this uh, as soon as I bring it up. Okay, so it'd be kind of the same thing. It's still going to be the same part up here and the exact same paragraph kind of or narrative paragraphs for it. What I changed was within the index of activities. So we have the dates for the binder. And what I did was I created kind of a table. So it had service responsibility, the role, the date, and the corresponding documentation. So let's check this out down here as an example. I'll make it a little bit bigger for us. Um, pull this down. So we have here for 2015, 2016, for example, service responsibility. Here are all of my, um, my responsibilities. Here is my role within that responsibility for quick, easy reference. Also, what are the dates associated with it? And then what I added was this corresponding documentation. So for the QEP director position, I should find an appointment letter from Human Resources. And then here I should find an appointment letter from the grant administrator. Then for the AACAP retention council, an email appointment from Elise. Perkins guidance, a thank you email from Terry, and then the welcome week, a confirmation letter, and an email from Susan Santos. So I'm just wondering, would this format possibly make it easier for us with um, being able to know what the documentation is to make sure it's in order? So if you could, at the top of this email, I have included a voting button. What I'd like you to do is if you want to keep it as is, meaning the original template that 
Carol had put together, if we want to keep it this way, then I want you to vote yes. If you want to make the change, though, to this um, format, I would like you to vote no. No means we change the current template. So do me a favor, take a moment, vote, and um, get back to me if you can by the end of the week. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Bye.